Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn adding, modifying and deleting the columns and rows in the data frame. Let us start with adding and modifying column in a data frame. Consider this data frame. We can add a column strike rate in this data frame by using the above command. You will give the data frame object then inside your capital brackets you will give the new column name and you will give the value which you want to assign in all the rows. As you can see all the rows has been assigned with same value because I have given only single value for all the rows. If you want you can give the list of values that is to be assigned in the data frame. These values should have same number of elements as the number of rows in the data frame. You can assign different number of values in all the rows. You can assign it by giving the number of values same as the number of rows in a list. And you can give the same as the ever. You will give the data frame df and then capital brackets then your new column name then your values. So it will assign the values in your data frame. As you can see this new column has been added. Now let us see how to delete the columns. To delete the columns there are three different ways. You can delete a column by using del keyword and your, then your data frame object then inside brackets you will give the data frame column name. So that column will be deleted. You can see now my strike rate is not coming. That means it has been deleted. The second way using pop function. You can see there are brackets after that. We are using small brackets. Pop is function or method of data frame object. You can apply this pop method and you can give the column name you want to pop from data frame. So that column will be deleted. The third way you can use drop function. Again this is a function and it is having small brackets. Here you can give strike rate the column name and you have to provide the axis. Axis is one in our case. One means column. This will delete the strike rate column. Also you can provide df dot drop then strike rate column name and you can provide axis is equal to columns. This will also delete the column from your data frame. Now let us see how to add rows or modify existing rows in your data frame. So for adding or modifying rows we will use LOC and ILOC attributes of data frame. If you want to add a row you will give the data frame then LOC then in the capital bracket new row index and then provide the values these li this list should have same number of values as the number of columns and it so should have same order as the number of different columns. So a new row will be assigned as you can see this G has been assigned and the value is Rahul 35 and 98. You can change the value of existing rows also. We will use ILOC or you can use LOC as well. If you want to change the fifth indexed row that means F row then you will provide DF dot ILOC in the bracket I will give 5 then I have to give a list of new values 
these values should have same number of elements as the number of columns also the order of values should be same now name should come first then age then score you can see now our previous f was set in 3390 now f has become gumby 32 and 82 that has come from this line this line can also be written with the help of loc as df dot loc and i will provide f then i will give gumby 32 and 82 these both are same you can change the value using iloc as well as loc this column should be existing one if you add a new column here then it will work as previous one as we have added g so new new row will be added so this value should have an existing one otherwise it will not change the value it will add a new row if i want to change number of rows i can provide it as a list of indexes you can see i have provided 0 1 and 2 so 0th first and second index has been changed you can see it has become tanmay 29 and 88 tanmay 29 and 88 you can provide a list of indexes or you can provide a single index now let us see how to delete rows you can delete rows by using drop function so we will provide g as our row index as we had earlier you can see i had g so if i want to delete g i will provide g and then i will provide x is as 0 0 means row you can write this line also like this df dot drop these both will have same effect in case of drop function you should remember that this will not change the data frame directly if you want to change your data frame you have to do df equal to in both the cases while you are deleting rows or you are deleting columns you have to do df equal to part this is compulsory otherwise it will print the result on a screen but will not change your data frame you have to do the df equal to in case of drop whether you are using deleting columns or you are deleting rows it is compulsory to do df equal to df dot drop so this is our add delete and modify of rows and columns in data frame we will meet in next video and if you have any uh, doubt you can ask me in comments thank you